The height of the blade is set to three quarters of an inch, and the rip fence is set to an inch and a half. I'm just going to nibble through this with the table saw, but you could use a dado blade if you felt like it. You can do two at a time if you like. I would like to start putting this together. First, we have to make preparations for how the height adjustment is going to work. In each of the four corners, I want to put one of these thumb screws into it. And underneath, there will be a block nut embedded. Underneath, I'm going to embed a nylon lock nut into it. So when the thumb screw tightens into it, it can set the adjustment of the height by sticking out through the bottom. But the lock nut will prevent any vibrations from the belt sander from changing the setting. Run a bolt backwards through the nylon into the lock nut. Then apply a little bit of liquid nails just to hold it in place. Then press it in with the vise until it's flush. Now that the height adjusters are in place, I want to work on the side rails. Find the exact center on both the top and bottom of each side rail. Now I'm going to drill a tiny pilot hole all the way through. On the top, let's just scratch the surface just deep enough to put a washer. On the bottom of each rail, I'm going to make a small countersink. I made it just deep enough to accept this little PVC spacer that I made. I'll show you what that's for in a second. Now the hole size can be increased to accept this bolt. I've drilled a golf ball deep enough to accept this coupler nut. Now I'm going to press it in with the vise, but I want a little bit to stick out. Let me show you how this mechanism is going to work. Later, this is going to be routed into the base. As the golf ball is turned, it tightens the mechanism. When it's loosened, to allow it to slide back and forth. Everything except the base can be screwed together at this point. 
Also those washers can be glued in. I'm going to be using inch and five eighths drywall screws and countersink them all. Here it is all screwed together. To limit its motion to only an inch and a half in each direction, I've made some side rails that are three inches smaller than the inside dimension of the thing itself. When it's finished, it'll slide along these. Now that the slider blocks are installed, I can trace around the perimeter where it stops and remove the excess material from the base. I need an accurate method to find where I start and stop my channel route for the tightening mechanism. I'm going to be putting this into the base. I think I'm just going to sharpen this quarter inch rod to a point so that I can mark where the route starts and stops. Now I'm going to make a wider slot on the bottom so that the bolt slides back and forth. I'm going to route halfway through the material. This tightening mechanism works pretty well. It doesn't even require very much tightening. <laughs> 